Hey guys, it's Kekula bringing you another video. Like I said, I was going to on my Facebook. Um, I know some of you guys aren't on my Facebook, but I don't have a page yet for Kekula. But I'm going to make one. Um, but this is to, I was just saying that for anyone who like looked at my personal Facebook and saw I was going to make this video. Um, this is another news story that I saw, which I don't know why I've been reading the news like the past couple weeks recently, just for uh, random reasons, I guess, to see random news stories. But... This one definitely stood out to me a lot. Um, last it was updated was 11.40 a.m. August 23rd. So I'm a little bit behind on it. feel bad about that. But um, I know that this one is like... I don't know. It's, it's touchy because it kind of makes me a little bit sick thinking about this. Um... The headline is, World War II Vet Beaten to Death in Random Attack. Um, the article here says, An 88-year-old World War II veteran who took a bullet in the leg while serving in the Pacific was beaten to death by two teens uh, in Washington in what police are calling a random assault. Uh, Dilbert Belton, a retired aluminum company worker, affectionately known as Shorty, was standing outside a lounge where he often played pool on Wednesday when two assailants approached him and started beating him, police said. He died on Thursday from head injuries he suffered. One of the two suspects has been apprehended. Now, what really makes me sick about this one is it was random. This was an old man beaten to death for no apparent reason. Now, mind you, I've wanted to beat people up too. Some maybe to the point of death. Not... I mean, come on, some people, there's annoying people out in the world. But, and I'm not saying it makes it better, but at least there's reasons why I would hate them and why I would want to hurt them. Because some of them have done stuff to me or some have done stuff to my friends. And that's why I would want to hurt them. But this is just a random attack. Like, how are you supposed to justify anything if you just randomly beat up an old man to the point of death. That's seriously messed up. And it, it really just makes me sick knowing that there are people out there who are just randomly going to beat old people up to death. Like, these were two teenagers. Teenagers, really? What? What is the point of beating up an old man? Like, I could understand more if it was like a gang thing, you know, like Crips and Bloods, they're going at it and stuff like that. It is an 88-year-old man war veteran why would you beat him up for no apparent reason why would you attack anyone for no rent like no apparent reason it just doesn't make sense like why would you do that there is nothing in your brain that should be like you know what i'm starting to not like old people just not feeling them today gotta take them out gotta take them out nothing in your brain should tell you that at any point in your life ever now, i understand that there are people who are psychotic and you know going like they're killing sprees but as far as we know with them they're more of like mentally crazy so I'm not excusing them it's still wrong to kill people and assault anyone but at least like there's a chemical imbalance in their brain where you know it's they're not fully there whereas this these are just two teens randomly beating up someone I don't know if that's like the new, like, in thing with kids nowadays is just beating up the elderly. Because if so, that's, uh, it's got to stop. Because it's just, it's ridiculous to me that these two teenagers found it necessary or funny or just to do it to not be bored. I, I don't know their motives. I haven't found anything on that yet. I might research into it a little bit more, see if there's any other updated news. But... I, I don't see why they had to do that. Like, there was no reason for them to randomly assault someone. Do you... It makes me sick just simply because, like I said, this is a random assault to the point of death. And this is an 88-year-old man who, granted, he's lived a long life, but still probably had some things to experience, and they took that away from him. 
And I'm not saying it always has to be an old person for us to feel bad. You know, it could be anyone of any age. I don't think randomly assaulting someone or randomly beating them to death is okay. It's just, it's not necessary. You don't got to do that. Like, if you really have a bunch of pent-up anger, take an MMA class, go to boxing classes, you know, get into some physical sport where it's okay to, I don't want to say, like, beat the living crap out of each other, but, you know what I mean? Like, just vent. Like, you know, punching, football, tackle people, you know, stuff like that. Stuff like that to help you release that. You don't have to take it out by randomly assaulting people. It's, it's upsetting hearing that. It's just, it's wrong. In every way, shape, and form, there's no justifiable reason why you should do that. And I really hope that the two teenagers, both of them, get some sort of punishment. And I'm not saying, like, you know, death penalty. Because in a way, a part of me would like for them to be killed. Like, the sadistic side of me wants them to be killed. But... I don't know, there's something about me that also, like, I guess another other weird sadistic side <laughs> kind of wants me to have them, like, stay alive, and I hope it eats at them. Because I want them to look back and realize that they took an old person's life for no reason. Out of the blue. Totally uncalled for. And I really hope that eats away at them, and I hope it drives them to the point of insanity, not to where they hurt anyone else, but just to where they don't know what to do. Nah, crazy, pretty much, yeah. That might sound bad, but, I mean, if you're willing to do this, you're a bad person. Like, they, I'm not going to say you're a good person. And I'm not saying they could never redeem themselves, but, I mean... They, it's going to be really hard for them to redeem themselves after doing something like this. And I think it's just really upsetting that two teenagers thought to do this for no reason. It's, it's kind of sickening just to know that there are people out there who do that, who, you know, harm other people just like that for no apparent reason. And so... That's why I'm kind of, like, against violence. Because I think, you know, it's really not necessary. There's a time and place for everything, you know? Like I said, if you want to be violent, go join martial arts. Go be in a boxing club. Join MMA. Wrestle. Football. you got so many options. You don't need to take it out on random strangers and hurt them out of nowhere. That's just wrong. That's... You, you don't just do that to people because if it was you, I don't think you would want people randomly just coming up to you and attacking you. And I'm not specifically talking to you, but you know what I mean. You don't want random violence. That's I don't see why we still have that, which I know there's a lot of weird people out there and a lot of crazy people out there, but I don't know. I guess it's just... Weird to me that some people think it's just okay to randomly always resort to violence or when they get bored, go to violence and stuff like that. I just, I don't get it and I wish I could end it because there's really no need for this petty violence or, well, I'm not going to call this petty because this is something really big. This is a person's life who was taken, but just in general, I don't see why we have to be so violent but I don't know I can't change that maybe I can but I have to try really hard and I hope I can but I don't think the world will ever stop having violence I think it will always be there and that's probably an upsetting thing too knowing that you know we're always going to have violence in the world where people are always trying to hurt each other. So, it sucks. Sucks knowing that. That's the reason why some people fear every day, you know? Something spontaneous and random could happen and someone comes up to you and just ends it like that. And that's the morbid side of it, but, you know...
you know? When you're given an opportunity, take it. Because you never know if you're going to get that again. You don't want to look back. I could say years, but who knows? You might look back in three hours from the moment and immediately regret that you turned that opportunity down. You know? So, to make yourself happy, live your life to the fullest, and essentially, you know, just be a good person. Be the best person you can. You know? Don't always resort to violence. You know? It's, it, you don't need to do it. It's petty. And... I don't know, I'd, I wouldn't respect you if you just randomly started attacking people. I'd attack you if I saw you attacking someone. But, you know, live your life, enjoy it, because nowadays in this world, so many things can happen that it could just be taken like that. So, every day, do something that you normally wouldn't do. Take a risk, talk to someone new that might be at school or might be at work, you know, meet new people, experience new things, face some of your fears, you know, get out there and experience this world because we never know when it's going to end. And if it was to end right now, would, would you be happy with where you're at? So that about wraps it up for this video. Um, I'm going to have this man in my prayers and I'm going to say a prayer for him tonight because I feel sorry for his family who lost him and I just feel bad for him that this kind of situation had to happen or technically it didn't have to happen that it just in general happened so you know I'd like to have a moment of silence for him later after I get done with this video because I don't know it's just I, I don't want to just awkwardly just go mm, yes but my prayers do go out to this guy. I feel very bad for him. And I hope those two teenagers get a really harsh punishment. I really do. And, you know, like I said, just please live your life. Enjoy it. Even the little moments, itty bitty moments, the tic tac size moments, enjoy those. Um, tic tacs are good. And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys later. So please bang that like button, rub the subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.